There he is. Where did that guy thump it? You know, I think part of that was just being able to pull this boat right in to the exact spot where he was. Oh yeah, he's all tuned up. But you know, that's a lot of, a lot of times, that's what happens when you pull a fish right off the edge of structure. And I'll tell you why. They're up there eating. When you find fish that are up on structure like we're fishing right now, they're not up there resting. They are up there running around eating. And walleyes like that one are exactly what we're chasing today because he's gonna be a great dinner fish tonight. Let me tell you how I found this fish because that's the most important part. I'm using side imaging. And what's so special about side imaging is it allows me to see things to the side of the boat that I never would have been able to see. That fish I just caught came out of pretty shallow water, about five feet right up on top of a rock. Now, for the most part, I normally wouldn't drive this boat right over the top of three, four, five feet of water out of fear because you know what? I don't want to hit something. I got a lot of money invested into this thing, but I know there's fish over there. Most likely, I've got to find a way to see them. And I can do that with side imaging. Now here's how it works. I'm able to look out 240 feet to either side of my boat when I'm looking for structure. So I set the unit right there and I can look a long ways out. So I may see a scattered rock out there. I may look out and I may see a boulder and this one came off a boulder. But those are the things that hold fish. If you can find a little point of rocks, a little scattered group of, of gravel or whatever it may be, transitions hold fish and side imaging shows you transitions. The other thing I'm capable of doing then is once I see that structure out there and I say, okay, well, it's way out there. I can get in there tighter. What I'll do is I'll zoom this thing in to 40 or 50 feet and then I can run that side imaging actually looking for fish. And this fish here, we saw fish up on those boulders when I moved in tighter and pulled in my range and looked at 40 feet. All of a sudden I could see those fish in there and I knew I had to fish this area because if they're there, they're eating. One other thing that's really, really cool is I have the ability when I see a spot to scroll out on the map and actually drop a, a waypoint right on the spot. And then I can come back and it transfers right over to my cartography map so I know exactly where it's at. So I've seen it on my side imaging, I've dropped a waypoint on the exact spot, and then I've dropped a waypoint that has gone onto my cartography map. And that Lake Master product told me all the same things, but now the side imaging gave me a picture of it. One last thing, there's a mode in here that you need to use, it's called the enhance mode. And what it allows me to do is once I capture that spot, I can then zoom way in. And when I zoomed in, that's when I realized that this little boulder field had a couple little turns, it had a couple little nooks and crannies, and that's where these fish are at. That's where they sit and ambush bait. If you can find those spots, you can catch them. Use your side imaging. It's available on Humminbird products from 600 series units on up, and it is one of the neatest tools that any angler for any species can have.